you can end an old war either by winning, defeating the enemy, or by a compromise. New wars are very different from that. They're more like a social condition, or if you like, almost a mutual enterprise, in which the various parties to the war gain both politically and economically uh, from fighting rather than from winning or losing. They're financed by outside support, they're financed by loot and pillage, they're financed by smuggling, all of which depend on violence in order to generate the revenue needed to sustain the violence. So what you get is a kind of predatory social condition. And if we don't understand that, then we do utterly counterproductive policies. The use of military force merely provides a justification for fighting. Talks merely entrench the extremists. The global strategy is really trying to develop an alternative approach towards conflict. Uh, the idea is that what you need to do is to support those local civil society groups that are trying in their areas to establish legitimate forms of authority. <laughs> and that has to be done through a range of activities. It has to be done um, through talks, but the talks should focus on the situation on the ground rather than some overall political settlement and should include civil society and women actually because that's a very important element. You always find that it's women who are trying to solve the problems locally uh, and women do play a very key role in civil society. It's very interesting in Syria that the women's movement really began the protests in 2011 